Hey Insider, today's video is a little bit different because I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a vlog that I recorded yesterday for you. Now, I had a chance to share a message in regards to how I transformed my life to a group of people who were police officers, right? And the irony of that is if you know my story, you know that uh, a decade ago, I was involved with hanging around the wrong group, a very negative group, and I was involved with crime and on, involved with being on the other side of the law. And as often as I, I, basically I said this during the event yesterday, as often I was running away from, from these police officers and I said to these police officers yesterday how ironic it is to be stood here sharing this message with them because it wasn't too long ago I'd be running away from them, right? But one of the things I'll say here before I show you this vlog behind the scenes is never let your past to define the rest of your story. Have the courage to close your chapter because you cannot begin the new. You cannot focus on the next chapter if you keep on reverting back to the previous one. Remember Insider, always look forward, move forwards. Because if you waste your time looking in the rear view mirror, you're gonna miss the beautiful scenery ahead of you. Enjoy this vlog and as always, follow your heart my friend and take action. Hey Insider, I hope you are doing well. I've got my uh, videographer with me today because uh, I'll be speaking in front of police officers. So ironic because if you know my story, I used to be on the other side of that in regards to being arrested and all of that stuff. It goes to show how life just sometimes revolves around <laughs> when you come from the right place in regards to serving contributions. So join me today um, as I'll be heading off to the event and you can join us and basically see behind the scenes in regards to some of the marketing strategies and business strategies I'll be sharing with these police officers who want to create a life of freedom and abundance. Watch the space. Let's do this. Okay inside there. If you're wondering what this is by the way, um, this is our pet. Her name is uh, Jilda <laughs> and uh, she keeps us company when we're going on these road trips uh, to events as well as uh, you know when we go visiting shopping centers and so forth. And as you can see, we've even gone to the length of taking a picture <laughs> of children. Oh god, this is cheesy. To be honest, I don't nowadays tend to prep too much for event speaking. And the reason for that, I was actually telling this to my mentees a couple of days ago when we were doing public speaking training, is if you're too structured with the content, uh, especially some people who are new to public speaking, they tend to script it out. The problem with scripting and being too structured is you're gonna seem like a robot. Uh, like a robot. And so for those of you who've ever had public speaking fear, realize this is one of the secrets that's allowed me in the last 15 months to go from a, a shy introvert to be a public speaker. Is by taking all of that, that, that sense of, oh, I'm not sure what to talk about, and having that full trust that the audience has got the information that they know they want to learn and trusting that you'll be able to answer those questions. It allows for a very interactive audience. So, so yeah, overall I'm feeling very excited. Um, it's almost that sense of, do I have nerves? Definitely feel nerves, but nerves is a great, um, great indicator of your ability to perform. Because when I don't have nerves, by the way, I do not perform. Now I'm reframing it to excitement, so it's good. So overall excited, nervous, all of that in between. I'm ready. Basically uh, at the event place, Okay, so my speech isn't for the next four hours, so I'm just gonna speak with the uh, organizers and uh, just network with some people. Inside the train, Birmingham right now, I'm about to do a speech in front of the police officers. It's either we, we make a quiet entrance or we make a scene. So <laughs> he's just kind of just walking. Very well. Very well. So, Tom, hi, Tom. Nice, nice to meet you. Mm, that's that guy. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Sat material. Lead Magnus, Facebook ads, video marketing, email marketing, creating content, that kind of thing. Yeah, but you can just say that if you like. So we're just going for lunch now. Um, I'm not speaking until uh, after lunch, so I'm just going to chill with some people who will be asking me questions. Uh, 
Uh, he's created seven figure phone uh, sales funnels and he's absolutely genius at the all round marketing world. So please give a round of applause for Mr. Tim Hand. Before I start, I just want to say, having spoken on stages all across the globe, as well as being involved with events, I know how much goes behind the scenes. So guys, let's give up for Alex. Give him a massive round of applause. Come on. Uh, I was just sitting at the back there with the amount of wisdom that's being chucked around. It's absolutely amazing. So guys, give up for the mentors. <laughs> and you can give me a round of applause if you want as well. Okay. <laughs> when I was younger, I wanted to be a police officer. And... Having heard what I heard from some of you, I'm really glad I did not fall into that profession now. <laughs> the fact that the whole world is going towards the online market and being able to create freedom, being able to work on my laptop anywhere across the globe was a dream. Just to give you some idea, the shortest event we run is 30 hours. I've got 50 minutes with you right now. Now the stuff I'm gonna share with you right now is stuff that is not theory. It's things that I've actually tried and I've got a big belief. Ask me what? That belief is, I've got a belief that I'd rather learn something from somebody who's actually rode a bike opposed to learning or reading how to ride a bike. The most successful people are the ones who are engaging the most. We invited a, a celebrity who's really big on, on Facebook right now with over 13 million likes. His videos gets hundreds of millions of views. He's been invited to Dr. Phil Harvey and all sorts, right? And what I learned from him when I was picking his brain is a very, very cool strategy that's allowed him to get billions of views on Facebook. How many of you would like to know that, by the way? Okay, maybe if you're lucky, okay. <laughs> Come ask me later. Is it fine if I basically mention why I'm here and why you should listen to some Asian guy speaking English? Is that fine, by the way? Okay. I used to probably be that kid that you're chasing down the road. When I was hanging around with these people who are in gangs, I just became them. And one of the personality traits I realized about me is I go all in. And so my friends were taking drugs. I started becoming a drug dealer. They were committing crime. I just went 10x on that. One of the biggest wake up calls actually comes from visiting a custody cell. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant. And it got to New Year's, I was still drinking a lot. And New Year's morning, I remember I was having my head down the toilet bowl and I said to myself, you know, what can I do to stop puking? And I remember thinking, maybe I just watch a presentation. Maybe that will send me to sleep. And that's what I did. I quickly grabbed my laptop, went onto YouTube, typed in presentation. And somebody called Steve Jobs popped up on the screen. And it, and it said it's 20 minutes long. In my head, I was like, this looks so boring. I'm going to watch it. <laughs> it's around 17 minute mark when my life, I, I woke up. Steve Jobs in this speech, he said how every single morning he looks in the mirror and he asks himself, if today's the last day of my life, would I want to do what I'm about to do today? And the answer for me was no. And I began to go online searching for solutions. I was searching for solutions. I got my first girlfriend and realized how expensive some of them are. <laughs> and then I was thinking, how can I generate wealth? Now I had key motivation. I began to go to networking parties. I began to go to events like this. I began to invest in myself, invest in courses, mentors. And I began to learn from people who are ahead of me. There's a great Chinese proverb that says, to know the road ahead, ask those that are coming back. Okay. Hands up if you just refuse to put your hands up. <laughs> some, some of you, some of you. Let me ask you, when you think of Apple, who do you think of? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. When you think of Microsoft, who do you think of? Yes. When you think of Tesla, who do you think of? Elon when you think of Jaguar, who do you think of? Nobody freaking knows. <laughs> and this is why Tesla is coming out all of a sudden disrupting the whole industry. You look at the biggest brands today, they're showing transparency. A goldfish has an attention span of nine seconds. An average human being, seven seconds. <laughs> this is the biggest problem online today. If you want to get great at marketing, you've got to begin to love it. And that is it from me. Just want to say, uh, yeah, just thank you so much Thanks for listening. So much. Thank you. One of the things I mentioned in regards, was in regards to attention. You gotta know how to get attention. This is how we're gonna do it. <laughs> gonna Facebook Live to all of the insiders right now. You can follow me on uh, Facebook. So let's do it in a moment. As Steve Jobs once said, you cannot connect the dots looking forwards. You can only connect the dots looking backwards. 
So whatever you're going through right now, if it's hell, just trust, keep flowing, trust that it will work out okay one day. And who knows, whatever you're going through one day, maybe for those of you who've ever been involved with the wrong side of the law, maybe one day you'll actually be inspiring them and helping them to flourish in life, just like I've experienced today. So inside there, that is pretty much it. We're gonna now head off and uh, that's been uh, behind the scenes in regards to some of the stuff we get up to here at Success Insider. One of the things I was saying at the event when I was speaking in front of the police uh, was in regards to how it's really ironic how now I'm inspiring these police officers and it wasn't too long ago, I suppose, I say not too long ago, but around 10, 12 years ago when I was actually on the other side of the law being chased by those people. <laughs> so the, the message of the day is trust your journey and never give up. Never give up dreaming big and always, always my friend, follow your heart and take action and go live the life you truly want to live. I'll see you on the next vlog soon. Take care.